Uh, my name is Adrian James Chong, uh, zone passer for both PJ North 1 and PJ North 5. We understood that this was a platform for us basically to rise up as leaders or more towards servants uh, to reach out to the lost and the least. We had uh, many meetings during our regular brainstorming sessions between the zone leaders and the cell leaders and we came to a common goal uh, that this would be a chance for those who have been serving in church for many many years to basically come together as one uh, to serve uh, a greater purpose uh, and of course with the MCO uh, we couldn't meet uh, physically so we had to meet via Zoom but it was good because then we could squeeze in time uh, people could then come in at different times to, to have discussions and uh, that's how we started and we of course started with a common goal that we want to meet the, the needs of many we have done many projects from, from feeding, feeding, basic feeding uh, to people in areas like Jinjiang, Kepong, uh, Rawang, uh, Lembah Subang, uh, Shah Alam, uh, even right up to uh, Sarawak. Apart from meeting their needs, I believe that this exercise brought a different role of leadership within my zone. I felt that this brought the best out of my, my leaders. Uh, God blessed uh, the hearts of the leaders who decided to participate together as one body, one spirit, uh, to meet these people's needs. Uh, but then we found out that a lot of mothers could not actually feed the baby's milk. Uh, so we had to buy a lot of milk formula and also diapers, which uh, was in great need. And those things don't come cheap. So after, after a couple of months of doing the food program with all these various uh, communities, uh, for example, the Pakistani community in Kapong, uh, the Myanmar community in Kapong and Jinjiang, uh, we started to go on to supply food stuff, uh, more baby stuff. Uh, one story that comes to mind uh, is a, the help that we gave a Pakistani community, a Christian Pakistani community in Kapong, uh, which needed help and desperately needed help. Uh, found out that this um, person that needed help was actually a pastor uh, who has a church in Kapong and he had not eaten for three days. And his kids did not eat for three days also. He didn't have anything at all. So we rushed there, uh, me and one of my, my, my friends, we rushed and we gave them food supplies. And uh, it not only changed the, the way they look at things, because they are foreigners in this land, but they could see the love of Christ, even though we were not connected. Uh, we, I didn't know this guy before, and uh, you know, and now just got to know him, but willing to, willing to invest, or not say invest, willing to plow in and help him out. And today, after four months of helping this community, we've become good friends. And I think the bridge of friendship or the bond that you know, Christ wants his believers to have is established. The one thing that I learned about this entire impact project, about God, is he's always faithful. He's ever present. And he's always ready to hear. So it shows that our God can meet all our needs by being there for us at all times. If you have not done an impact project, you can start anytime. You don't have to do a big project, you can do a small project or you can do any kind of project. From as simple as actually going and visiting an old folks home, don't look at the big project, look at the project that will meet the needs of the people right in front of you.